There we go. I think I can hear you now. You hear me? Yes, all good. Good, perfect. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very, very good. I'm very That's excited. Good. It's we've good been, times, good times. Yeah, we've been looking forward to this. Absolutely. Um, okay. We'll try to keep it super short so that you can yeah. get to your son's uh, first day of school. That's so cute. It's so okay. sad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I bet. I bet. Yeah. Um, okay. So if you're ready, we can start right away. Yeah, absolutely. All righty. So welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm Malik with The Third Place. The Third Place, we, uh, we at The Third Place are a team of technologists, artists, and veteran brick and mortar owners who are building software that helps create tighter bonds between customer and business owner. And today we have with us, please introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I had the water in my mouth. I'm like, yeah. Uh, so I'm Daniel Lewis, the founder of Daniel's Chai Bar, a specialty tea company that focuses on our famous lion chai lactose-free latte. Yes. And so I have just a few questions for you. Sure. The first is, how did you start uh, Daniel's Chai Bar? Like, how did it come about? Absolutely. So Daniel's Chai Bar is actually the rebrand of the original tea company, which was called Tea by Daniel. Um, and that's a company that my wife and I, tea company that my wife and I started about 12 years ago. And it basically started, um, the shorter story is that we were introduced to tea around the times of David's Tea and Teopia and Tivana. You know, tea was just starting to get really, really cool. Sure. And I was coming out of really just the music industry. I always thought I was going to be a you know, your next favorite rap artist or something like that. Yeah. And um, after pursuing that for many, many years and really going deep with that, once I got introduced to tea, um, you know, there was this whole health issue that I went through and I was looking for something different, basically. It was a, a big turn of events in my life. Um, and tea was presented to me. You know, somebody was offering a sample in a, in a mall one day. And I'm like, tea? Like, isn't tea something you just go for when you're sick? And, you know, I just had all the traditional stereotypes. And sure. once I went into a David's Tea and I saw the colors and the different types and flavors, I was like, wait a minute, like, tea is not this I'm sick beverage. Like, it's really cool. Then I found out the health benefits. Long story short, I found that after being spending way too much money on tea, I wanted to be a part of the industry and making it cool and, uh, and, and show people that it's much more than you just being sick. And I decided to blend what I learned in music with tea to create Tea by Daniel, which later became Daniel's Chai Bar. That's great. That's very, uh, a very good story. Yeah, it's a roller coaster. So well. <laughs> um, and so what is, what is the famous lion? Tea? Yes. So the lion chai over the years has been our number one seller in our store. And what it is, it's a lactose free chai latte. For those who don't know what chai is, chai is really just another name for tea. So technically when you say chai tea, you're saying tea tea. But <laughs> chai, what we know it as here in the West is typically black tea um, with spices like cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg. Um, and that's what our, our famous lion chai is. Mm -hmm. The only thing that um, I say, uh, not the only thing, but one of the things that makes it so, so desired by many is that we don't use milk to make it. It has a powdered coconut creamer in it, in the powder. Um, and so you can just add boiling water. And just like that, you have a beautiful, creamy chai latte. Um, and it became really popular as uh, celebrities started to hear about us. And we served um, the Backstreet Boys in LA, uh, AJ from the Backstreet Boys, which I got to sing a song to him. I was like, am I? Yo? No uh, yeah. way. It was wild, 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 wild. <laughs> and, um, and then I got to, my wife and I got to serve um, His Royal Highness, Prince Charles, um, on his royal tour to Canada in 2017. So all those things just made the Lion Chai so popular. And just in our community and in our stores, everybody goes for the Lion Chai. So you mentioned the, there was an evolution and a rebrand. Yes. What was, what was that process? Absolutely. So that actually is a recent rebrand because our business model up until COVID was very similar to Tivana, Teopia, David's Tea in that you come into our store, we have tons of types of tea. You can get anything, Sencha, Oolong, black teas, Kenyan black teas. We had it all. 
Um, and then when COVID happened, like many, uh, you know, retailers, supply chain just got choked out. Like getting tea from China or getting tea from Japan uh, or Sri Lanka just became this huge, huge task. And so during COVID, uh, during those lockdowns and restrictions, I had to reimagine what our tea company could look like. I decided to scale back the menu and our offerings and our inventory down to the essentials. What have people been purchasing the most over the last 10 plus years? The lion chai, the Arctic lion, which is the cold frap version of it, um, fudge fantasy, which is a frozen hot chocolate. So five or six menu items, but it just didn't make sense to call the company Tea by Daniel when there's not a lot of tea. Sure. And so rebranded, came up with a new image, new look, um, and then decided to just focus it on our chai. So Daniel's Chai Bar. So I envisioned it, it's like a bar, you come up and instead of getting alcohol, you get a hot chai or a cold chai or chai inspired beverages. And in December, 2021, that's when I relaunched as Daniel's Chai Bar. Nice. So what has been the difference between what you initially imagined for yeah. Tea by Daniel yeah. and then what it is now? Do you feel like what you imagined was something very, very different? Do you yes. like it better now? Do you, Absolutely. Would you rather stuck to it? Absolutely. With Tea by Daniel, it was birthed out of me and it was designed to be exactly what happened to me with tea. People walk in, they get introduced to teas from all over the world and are like blown away because they thought tea was boring or they didn't think they liked tea. And so they could, and the focus was really them buying, you know, bulk loose leaf tea, getting different accessories and then starting their tea journey. So it was more of that starting your tea journey, um, community, mama pop shop um, vibe. Whereas the business has grown and Daniel's Chai Bar is designed to become a franchise. So you're still gonna get that tea and that warm feeling when you walk in from our customer service um, and, and just from the relationships, because we're all about building relationships. You're still gonna get that, but the design and the product offering was designed to be scalable and replicable so that hopefully soon when we franchise, somebody can take this quick service Daniel's Chai Bar model and open it up anywhere. And I was focused on that. Not so much with Tea by Daniel. It was just like, come in and drink tea and have fun, right? So, yeah. It's so interesting that you said it sort of mirrored your evolution. Exactly. Tea. Um, so so that's, a great, that's a great segue then to what would be the biggest piece of advice you would give somebody starting a business? Absolutely. Um, when you're starting a business, I'm, and I'm huge on this, you gotta have a solid answer for why. I think sometimes people think, you know, start a business, A, I want to control my own schedule. It's not a good why, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> I, I want to make more money. Again, at what cost? Because if you think nine to five is bad, you're working nine to nine every day at the least. And it doesn't really stop. And so those, to me, are not good enough reasons to start a business, in my opinion. I always say the stronger your why is, the longer you'll last and the more people will resonate with your brand or your company. And so a strong purpose, a strong why is what makes a business successful. I started a business and I, I just didn't want to get too, too deep into my story, but I started a business because I wanted to find a tool to impact people's lives in a positive way. Um, because my life was impacted in a positive way uh, in 2009. And so T just became that tool. It could have been burgers. It could have been t-shirts. It was just tea. But because that purpose is so strong and embedded in me and is spread into a culture of those who uh, work with me, the days when we're not making that many sales or the days when we have to close down stores or the purpose is so much bigger than us, it helps us to get through. Whereas having my own schedule, like as you can see right now, I'm, I'm trying to go pick up my, my son. You would think, well, I'm the business owner, right? I get to be at my son's first day of school. Well, that's not the case, yeah. right? Sure. So strong purpose, strong why typically helps um, for a, a successful business if you're starting out, especially. Okay, and so last question before the lightning round. Sure. Uh, what, can you tell us about, the, about your um, program with The Third Place? Yeah, absolutely. So I found out about The Third Place um, while I was doing some online research and we we're trying to find ways of 
just building our business and finding more value for our customers. Um, I'm not sure if they reached out to me or if I reached out to them, but I heard about them. I looked uh, through, well, them, you guys. And I, I learned first about your, um, what do you call it, subscription model, how uh, my business can offer subscription, which I'm planning to do soon to all those Daniel Chai bar lovers out there. Um, and it was just a really cool technology that we could implement. And you guys were doing everything in the back end to make it a smooth process. And I loved that. Um, after talking back and forth and trying to find, you know, the right time to, to set that up, you guys, I guess, came out with this loyalty program that just seemed like something I've been trying to find for the longest time. We're very excited about that. Right? And people loved it. It was so simple. Then we started to grow and get all bougie and we got all these apps and things like that. It didn't work out good. People were confused about whether they got a free tea or where they're at with it and redeeming it. It seems like you guys meshed the simplicity of the stamps with technology and people could just scan. Once I heard about what you guys offered, I decided to implement it into Daniel's Chai Bar. So you can go to our store at Vaughn oh, Mills. Bang. Mm -hmm. And just um, scan right at the register when you make a purchase. And voila, no sign up needed. And I think that's beautiful. We're so glad. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's do the uh, hopefully lightning round so we can get you out of here as fast as possible. It's okay, don't worry. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us three interesting facts about yourself. I love French fries. I think I could sing. And I would love to be a perfumer that creates his own fragrances. Ooh, that's so cool. Okay. Uh, a book you love. Yeah. <laughs> book Essentialism by George McCowan. Love it. Okay. A movie that inspires you. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <sighs> yes. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, a song you're listening to on loop right now. Oh, my gosh. I, it's just lo-fi beats. I don't really listen to, like, words. So okay. just any lo-fi instrumental. Amazing. And then your favorite third place. A place outside of work and home that you enjoy spending time at? Starbucks. <laughs> Believe it or not, I know. But <laughs> it's just in the, the before T by Daniel days, I would always go to Starbucks. And then that's where I built T by Daniel. That's where I built all my businesses. And so I know people are like, but that's your competitor or whatever. And I'm just like, it's a beautiful place. And I know. And I go to that's all the fair. locals as well. I go to all the locals as well. I'm a huge local shopper. But I can't lie. Starbucks is a, is a vibe for me. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> great. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us, Daniel. This was great. Oh, it was a fabulous time. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, bye. Day. Bye.